Well, a newly released video from the January 6th assault on the Capitol shows a local leader of the far-right Proud Boys pushing past police on the Capitol steps. One officer who was injured that day was Michael Fanone of D.C.'s Metropolitan Police, who was beaten unconscious. He is now trying to hold rioters and their political supporters accountable for the mayhem. CBS's Chris Van Cleve spoke with Officer Fanon and two of his allies, Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger and Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell, about what they'd like to see. You guys Push! Push! Right right. You're seeing what D.C. police officer Michael Fanon saw on January 6th. Ah! All holy hell broke loose. Uh, next thing you know, we were just, you know, in a hand-to-hand uh, -hand just battle. His body cam rolled as he was pulled into the crowd of rioters outside the Capitol and attacked. I was tortured. I was beaten. I was, you know, struck with a taser numerous times at the base of my skull. And I, I posed no threat. At one point, you were unconscious. Correct. How was that like a necessity other than the fact that they wanted to torture an officer? And if they're willing to do that to you, they were willing to do that to a member of Congress? Absolutely. He was forced to the ground, suffered a mild heart attack and a brain injury. Fearing for his life, he called out, I have kids. Six months later, the scars from that day are still with him. Working through the emotional fallout, he's no longer fighting the mob outside the Capitol, but some members of Congress he rushed in to protect. My initial feelings were a feeling of abandonment. I speak to a lot of police officers, and that's the overwhelming feeling, is that we've been abandoned. As efforts to downplay January 6th grow louder, last week 21 House Republicans voted to deny Fanon and fellow officers the highest congressional honor for their heroism in an attempt, he thinks, not to acknowledge the attack itself. Which is, you know, to me, far more repulsive uh, than voting against, you know, giving cops a medal. Fanon has become friends with Republican Congressman Adam Kinzinger and Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell. The three coming together in a joint interview, hoping to show it's possible to disagree and still get along. When you sit here and you see the strength of, of Fanon here, you know, openly talking about some of the emotional struggles he has. Like, as dudes, that's something we don't like doing. I'm a military guy, he's a cop. It's not something that, you know, is in our lexicon, but it's important to hear it. And where they all agree, the need for a 9-11 style commission to investigate January 6th, but that was blocked by Senate Republicans. The bottom line of all of it, it's cowardice, because it takes strength to tell the truth. If you believe Antifa and BLM actually attacked the Capitol, you should have won a January 6th commission. But if you believe that it was act, that you've been lying about it the whole time, then you don't want a January 6th commission. That's why we have to do it. Do you worry about more violence? Yes. Here? Yes. The best antidote against that is unity among Democrats and Republicans saying, we're not going to let that happen again. You know, we, we may not agree on who the president is right now and what that person is trying to do, but we at least agree in the process and the democracy that brought that about. Do you think if there is a commission or anything Congress does to look into January 6th at this point will be looked at as credible? But if you're going to enact policies to make sure this never happens again, as the independent bipartisan September 11 commission did, it has to be independent, bipartisan, and as far away from this building as possible. Mike, is there anything, that, any questions you have from 1-6 that haven't been answered? I'm done like tiptoeing through the tulips here. The questions I have are, you know, to what extent, if any, did uh, our political leaders involve themselves in the events of January 6th? If there was uh, participation from members of Congress, from their staff, as an officer that served that day, I certainly would like to know that. Like, as an American, I believe very strongly in a, in a two-party system. Um, right now, one of those parties has a cancer, and we got to cut it out. Uh, and until we do that, we're not going to be able to move forward as a nation. 